welcome. For Bushman is possibly the longest running joke in Marvel Comics history. In fact, the character predates the creation of Marvel Comics by six years. Irving Forbush, the secret identity of Forbush Man, was the fictional founder of Snafu, a humor magazine primarily written by Stan Lee and published by Atlas, the publishing company that would transform into Marvel Comics in 1961. Snafu only ran for three issues between 1955 and 1956, and, for the most part, it was one of the many pale imitations of Mad Magazine. Over those three issues, very little would be learned about Irving. He was born and raised in Forbush Village and he has two known brothers, Marvin and Melvin. Although, Irving has a rather large extended family, many of whom are credited as writing pieces for Snafu. In Stan's Soapbox, the monthly column Lee wrote between 1967 and 1980, he would regularly drop Irving's name. In fact, according to the collected Stan Soapbox compilation, Irving Forbush was mentioned 38 times during that column's run. In the March 1979 column, Lee revealed how Irving Forbush came to be. Basically, it was a stupid-sounding name, like Willie Lumpkin, that Lee thought up, and he just liked the sound of it. So when Marvel Comics became popular, Lee found a place for this oddball-sounding character. The earliest non-appearance of Irving Forbush was in Fantastic Four Annual No. 3 from 1965. In one panel, a crowd is chanting for Irving and it's possible, but not certain, that the figure covering his face is supposed to be Irving. By the way, that one panel is jam-packed with Marvel references. Along with Irving, Tony Stark and Millie the Model are name-dropped. There's a banner for the official Marvel Comics fan club, the Mary Marvel Marching Society. And the two central figures are Patsy Walker and her friend Hetty Wolf, both of whom were featured in the late 50s comic from Atlas, Patsy and her pals. The first time Irving Forbush showed up as Forbush Man was on the cover of the first issue of Not Brand Ech, which I'm just going to pronounce as Not Brand X from this point forward. I said it phonetically once, and that's all you get. The term, Not Brand X, was a popular way to refer to a competitor's product without directly mentioning the competitor. So one can interpret this title of the comic as Not DC. Anyway, Forbush Man doesn't appear in that first issue, and he wouldn't have a full actual appearance until the fifth issue of Not Brand X. Although it should be noted that Stanley repeated a joke from the first issue of Snafu in the first issue of Not Brand X. That joke being, both were founded by Irving Forbush, and then losted by another individual. <laughs> Irving works as a gopher at Marble Comics, doing all the ridiculous tasks no one wants to do. While it's a thankless, no-paying position, the job gives him the opportunity to pursue his hobby, collecting superhero autographs. He lives with Auntie Mayhem, an abusive woman who unintentionally provides Irving with the inspiration to use a pot as a way to disguise his face. With some long underwear and a potato sack for a cape, Forbush Man completes his disguise and looks for bad guys to fight. Thus, Forbush Man is the ultimate Marvel fanboy and, maybe, the first cosplayer. One thing that didn't take was the character being known as the Way Out Wonder, which is what he's repeatedly called through his three appearances in Not Brand X. This nickname just didn't stick, and he's been popularly known as Forbush Man since his inception. Forbush Man's design, red underwear, and a blue cape is very similar to other superhero parody characters, such as Super Snipe, Super Goof, and Captain Klutz, all of whom existed before Forbush Man. The unique distinction for Forbush Man was his actual face was never revealed. When out of costume, his face was always obscured by something. However, his face had been revealed many years prior to his first appearance on the covers of the first two issues of Snafu. But once part of the Marvel Universe, his face has never been seen. Forbush Man would have three significant appearances during Not Brand X. All are wacky satires or parodies of Marvel comics themselves. Following the cancellation of that title with the 13th issue, Forbush Man has been a casual reference by many different writers over the ensuing 50 years. He's also been a background easter egg in a variety of titles throughout the years. There's been way too many of these references and cameos to even begin cataloging. In essence, as mentioned at the beginning, he's the unofficial running joke of Marvel Comics. Over the years, Forbush Man has been the mascot of Marvel Age, the promotional comic that highlighted upcoming Marvel Comics titles. For the record, that column also revived Stan Lee's column, Stan Soapbox. From there, Forbush Man would occasionally appear in the late 80s humor title, What The? But for the most part, he's been an obscure insider joke for comic book fans. 
In the 21st century, Forbushman has had a few significant appearances, putting aside the casual background cameos he ordinarily makes. The first was in two issues of Next Wave, Agents of Hate, from 2006. In this appearance, Forbushman is some broccoli-based lifeform with mind-altering powers. Technically, not really Forbushman, but close enough. An extreme Winter Soldier version of Forbishman appears in the parody comic Who Won't Wield the Shield from 2010. In the Deadpool Too Soon Infinite comic from 2016, Forbushman is murdered, but by the end of that comic, he's perfectly fine once again. In 2018, a 14th issue of Not Brand X was published. Of course, Forbushman appears, pitching ideas to keep his character relevant to a modern audience. Finally, in Marvel Comics number 1000 from 2019, Forbishman received his own solo page in this comic celebrating the history of Marvel Comics. In the end, for a character that doesn't really matter to the greater Marvel Universe, Forbishman has endured as a running joke throughout Marvel Comics history. In a way, Forbishman is timeless, mainly because he was never relevant in the first place. <laughs> That's it for today. Like share, subscribe, and comment, and I will talk at you later. Until next time.